Hey guys, Isabella here, and today I'm going to be doing a makeup, uh, like what to pack for camp makeup wise, and what to bring and what not to bring um, for makeup. And yeah, so without further ado, there's no other really intro, let's just get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is jewelry. Now, um, as you may see, you probably don't because you probably don't look at my ears, but um, I wear my pearls every single day, but these are real pearls. So what I recommend doing is buying fake pearls um, or fake diamonds or fake rubies, emeralds, sapphires, whatever you wear in your ear because then it will be like you're wearing it, but it won't be as it, like as bad if you lose them. If you already have fake ones, then that's fine, but um, these are just the ones I bought. These ones are from Old Navy. Um, the bottom ones are the pearls, and the top ones are just like little diamond things, but um, I'm probably just going to be bringing the pearls. But yeah, that is um, a good thing to know to not bring your real ones because you will lose them. Last year I had fake ones, and I lost one of them, and but it was okay because they were fake. Next is moisturizer. So instead of bringing your big one, this isn't like a face moisturizer, but instead of bringing like a big moisturizer for your face, I suggest bringing a small one. This is one that's just in a little tub. Um, and I use this uh, morning and night, which is also something, get one that you can use morning and night because then you won't be looking around two creams. This one is the Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream, and I love this. It works so well to hydrate my skin, and yeah, I use it day and night, and yeah. Next is concerning lip stuff. So if you are going to sleepaway camp, most likely you'll have themed days, themed nights, and you'll be ne needing a ton of different like costumes and everything, so this isn't helping you pack less, but this is kind of like a packing tip. Bring lots of different kinds of lipsticks and everything, and don't forget chapstick. If you forget chapstick, your life will be a living hell. Um, yes, it will. It sucks if you forget chapstick. Two years ago, I forgot chapstick, and I literally had, like, that red ring around my mouth because I was not moisturizing my lips. So I recommend bringing EOS's or just any type of lip balm. I have this. And then I also have this one, which I'll probably be using a lot too, and it's the Babeline, Babeline, Maybelline Crystal Kiss Baby Lips, and it just looks like that. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it smells really, really good, and yeah. But you will be needing a ton of different colors and crazy colors, definitely. Okay, next is concerning um, kind of face, but kind of um, eyes at the same time. So if you wear highlighter... Um, even if it's just for one night, if you want to bring highlighter, don't. Um, this is the Doll 10 Champagne. I really like this highlighter. But what I suggest bringing, also, don't bring your expensive things. This is, <clears throat> this is MAC. Um, I would not recommend bringing this because you may drop it and it will shatter. You may just get your stuff thrown around. Um, so I suggest bringing a big palette that you don't really care about a lot. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad palette, but um, I just suggest bringing a big palette. So this is the Sleek Eye Divine All Natural Palette. And it just looks like this. It has a ton of different colors. So instead of bringing that highlighter, you could use this or this really shimmery one. And these MAC ones probably resemble like this one and like these two mixed or something so um, I would just suggest bringing a big palette because this also gives you a lot of eyeshadows to work with also if you do fill in your brows do not bring your brow pencil most likely it will be dropped under your bunk and you don't want to go get it or um, you may just lose it um, try out using brow powders and make sure you have a few matte shades but a few shimmery shades as well. So in here I have um, a few that would be able to be used as a brow powder. Um, I personally don't fill in my brows that much. I fill them in only like on days where I'm like I need to be super super nice today or whatever. Um, but 
I probably won't even use this trick at camp because honestly I don't wear that much makeup at camp. The next um, thing is for mascara. Um, mascara, make sure that it is waterproof. Um, I need to go to the store and get a waterproof version of this um, because honestly if you don't wear waterproof makeup like waterproof eyeliner or um, mascara it will come off. Um, you are bound to be contacted with water if you're going to a camp that has a lake or something and you don't know if as your cabin activity you're going down to the lake or whatever. So I definitely suggest getting a waterproof version. Um, a really good mascara that is good for your top lashes and your bottom lashes and can give you a lot of mascara, uh, a lot of volume is this Voluminous Butterfly one by L'Oreal, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's by L'Oreal. But another one that I usually take to camp is the Maybelline Rocket. That one also is amazing. Okay, next I'm going to talk about like more of like foundation type products and everything. So, um, I have these two things. It is the BB Cream by Garnier in light to medium, and this is the Eye BB Cream by Garnier in fair to light. And these are what they both look like. Um, and honestly, what I'm going to say is don't bring... <laughs> Honestly, what I'm going to say is don't bring the eye one. If this one matches your skin enough, you can use this under your eyes. Um, I'm probably actually going to bring my dark one. I'm probably going to bring this one too just because um, they're both light to medium, but I got this a lot earlier. So as you can see on the labels, if it will focus, this says light to medium, but this says too, and this one's a lot darker. So, um... I'm probably going to bring both of these because my face will be changing color um, because I'm going to be tanning and stuff, so I'll probably just bring this one and, um, yeah. Next is definitely an essential for me at camp, which is powder. Um, I've been using this brand of powder for a very long time, maybe like three years. Um, this is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Powder, and it just looks like this. Um, this is the absolute most amazing powder ever. It mattifies my face a lot, and it kind of gives my face a really silky feel to it. Um, I would say if you're not going to wear any face makeup, just wear a powder just to kind of, um, eliminate the oil, and this one's just in Soft Beige, number 50, and this is just an amazing powder to take off the oil. Lastly, I'm going to talk about brushes. So, a if you usually use two brushes like these two, this is um, Real Technique and this is Elizabeth Mott. If you usually use two brushes, try to find one that has a dual end. It will really help you. This one is by Crown Brush. Um, and it has just a crease brush and a shadow brush on them, on it. So... It will give you a dual purpose for your brush and take up less space. Again, another dual purpose brush. Um, this one is way more common to find. It's just like a brow and eyelash brush. And yeah, you're not really going to want to be doing your eyebrows, so I would just suggest combing them out and maybe using a clear mascara on your brows. Then just bring a um, powder brush and then a stippling brush. I suggest a stippling brush either if you're going to rub in foundation, but I like to use this if I do use blush, but I am using this for foundation because, um, you know what? I'm not bringing that brush. See, I'm cutting down on my stuff already. <laughs> Last but not least, Definitely not least is since you're at camp, you're not going to have access to washing your hands all the time, especially in the morning because everybody's going to be in the bathrooms and everything, so you're not going to want to go in there. Hand sanitizer um, is definitely a must. I'm bringing like three, two, four maybe, and this is just the Pure Paradise one from um, Bath and Body Works. That is definitely an essential. Even if you're doing your makeup at home, wear, um, I mean, have sunscreen on, wash your hands before. You do not want your hands to be dirty. 
and yeah so that was my makeup to bring to camp video i hope you all enjoyed sorry it was kind of long but i just wanted to show you what to bring and what not to bring and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video bye